locked down. down. It's a real bind, but as we know, so, so necessary. Well, as a photographer, I've been having a lot of fun out in the garden, and fortunately, we do have a really, really nice garden. Thanks to my wife, I just mow the lawn. But anyway, about three weeks ago, we were having coffee one afternoon, and we observed that a blackbird trying to self-isolate with us, I think. It was trying to come in. It was coming up to our patio window, feet out like that. Fortunately, not injuring itself, but scaling up and running up and down the, the, the pane of glass. It was incredible. Uh, and I tried getting pictures of it, but just missed it every time it happened. But anyway, I took a couple of shots, and I thought, that's interesting. So um, I hung around with the camera for a while, and I managed to pick up a few shots. There's one, look, peeking in. <laughs> Can I come in? <laughs> so it's a female blackbird, it turns out. I'm no expert on birds, particularly not the feathered type. Not the other type either, thinking about it, but anyway. So I thought, here's a project. Why not document the birds in our garden? And any other wildlife that comes in, like squirrels, cats. <laughs> so I grabbed the cameras, I've got an XT3 and an XT20, and I decided to mount them up on tripods, one down in the dining room. Unfortunately, I happened to shoot through double glazing a lot of the time initially, but now, as the weather's got warmer, except for today, it's freezing out there today and very, very windy, I'm able to mount an XT3 here from the office window, pointing down into our bird bath, which is fantastic. Everything's in the right place. Being a, an APS uh, sensor size, and I've got a 500mm mirror lens, I must do a video on that at some point, I've got an effective focal length of 750mm. So I thought, wow, I'm right in on that bird bath. And uh, not only that, have I been grabbing some really nice shots, both in... 1080p 4k video as well as stills i've even got the gopro and i've taken this out and i've mounted it right next to the bird bath boom and i'm picking up some amazing shots well pretty okay shots uh i'm going to progress though and get this underwater to partly submerged in the bath shooting up like that probably on super wide so getting shots like that with a 750 equivalent focal length lens Brilliant, and capturing video, switching between the two and stills. So I've got birds coming in, bathing, drinking, flying out, flying in, and I'm just loving this. I mean, I'm not a wildlife photographer. I mean, I mean 30 odd years or so, I've been a wedding photographer. So it's become a project and it's gonna be a future YouTube video. Well, this is part of it, I guess. And uh, I'm not finished yet. But the blackbirds are quite tame, fortunately. They come in relatively close. We know exactly where the nest is. It's about a meter away from our lounge window. So we see them coming in, coming out. And from here, I can photograph them diving down into the, to the hedge where they're nesting. The one thing I can't do though is get a camera in, in the nest. I mean, I can't actually see the nest. It's so dense in, in the foliage there that uh, it's not really visible, but yeah, I'd love to put a GoPro in there, but um, no, I don't want to frighten them off. I'd like to wait until they have young and we'll document all that too. But anyway, I'm going to show a video of, of what I've got so far. Hope you enjoy the results. I'm having a great time doing this. It's certainly keeping me very occupied anyway. I've got loads of other videos to put on, but uh, they've had to sort of take a slight back step at the moment while I concentrate on all this wildlife photography. But I, yeah, it's brilliant.
So this is Project Wildlife. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you soon, folks. Cheers for now.